Is English not your first language, but you want to become a pilot? We'll talk about that next, coming up in this episode. Hi everyone, Carl Valeri with Aviation Careers Podcast, the inspirational, informational, and transparent podcast about aviation careers. Before we get started for this question that came in from a viewer, I uh, just want to tell you a little bit about the scholarships guide. We have a lot of people asking us, we have the scholarships guide that has over $120 million in scholarships, aerospace career scholarships, both for flight training, college, many different aspects, type ratings, that type of thing. Well, if you want to give a scholarship away f as a gift, to somebody it's real simple we have another video I'll link to in the show notes but all you have to do is watch that video fill out the form or even easier you can write us at feedback at aviationcareerspodcast.com give us your name email address and how many scholarships guys you want to give to somebody we'll send you an invoice after it's paid we send you the coupons it's that simple you can give that guide to anybody or a group of people and uh, we've been doing this for quite some time and found that during this season during this time uh, people want to give away free flight training because they want to help people and that's really terrific I really appreciate that anyway let's get on with the question this week and it comes from a viewer on our last uh, podcast, excuse me, on our last video, YouTube video. And by the way, go below and uh, subscribe and click on the bell if you want to get notified of more videos like this. If you have questions too, you can ask them below or feedback at aviationcareerspodcast.com. So he asks us this, I want to become a pilot, but English is not my first language. When I feel stressed, I start stammering and I'm always worried about the future. What if an emergency situation comes up and I don't want to risk the passenger's life because of my communication skills? Could you please give me any suggestions to overcome this? Well, we've got a lot of suggestions for you and hats off to you for being concerned about your passengers and becoming the most professional pilot that you can be. We all struggle with aviation communication and aviation English. So I'm going to give you some tools that I suggest. There's many more out there. And uh, the, one, the most important thing, though, is be confident in the fact that you will learn aviation English. It doesn't come naturally to many of us. So let's get started with some of the tools. I got five different tools that you can use to help you if English is not your first language and you want to become a pilot. First of all, listen to liveatc.net. Liveatc.net is a free streaming website of air traffic control from many different airports. As a matter of fact, you can actually go back and listen to some of the past communications with air traffic control. Why is this important? You can listen to all different frequencies. You can listen to ATIS, you can listen to clearance delivery, taxi instructions, and you can take all you can go to tower, in route. One really cool thing about this, and something I suggest when you're using liveatc.net is to actually listen to a whole flight. So when they switch frequencies, try to find that frequency on liveatc.net. Interestingly, uh, you can also use that same app at the airport. There's a little bit of a lag uh, when you do use it at the airport, but you can have it on you know, your, your mobile device, on your cell phone, and you can listen to air traffic control. Heck, I use it for the ATIS a lot of times. I'll listen to the ATIS there before I head out to the airport. Uh, the other thing too, there's many other things that are out there that you can listen to. Like here, if you look up, I'm in Lakeland, LAL. You can actually listen to, we have Sun and Fun Radio, liveatc.net slash SNF. You can listen to things like that. And you can listen to interviews of people that uh, are really inspirational. But as far as English and as far as listening to air traffic control, I really highly recommend using liveatc.net. It's really inexpensive. Uh, it's awesome. It's a great tool. The other thing that I also suggest, and they've been a sponsor of ours, is uh, an app-based simulator. It's called Plain English Sim. Plain English Sim. Again, uses a mobile device, and it enables you to practice both VFR and IFR communications, plus they have other resources you can download, uh, which makes it a little bit easier for you. The more you can read, uh, the more you can listen, the more you'll learn. I think it's absolutely terrific. It's like actually hiring a flight instructor, but your flight instructor is on your app. So I really, I really highly recommend plainenglishsim.com. Again, links will be in the show notes here. The other thing, boy, this and this is going to get old school here in a minute. This is what I do right here. Purchase a radio. They're not that expensive. Mine has all sorts of batteries in here, and uh, this is an ICOM from another age. 
Um, I, it's, it's one of the, the new ones are so much less expensive, but here I am. I'll even turn it on. Listen to the ATIS. It's terrific for getting the ATIS, but it's also, it's a great tool if you can get with your instructor and maybe go out there and listen to clearance. First of all, ATIS, then clearance, then taxi instructions and tower. The great thing about having a radio like this and being able to listen on a radio, I know it's, it, it's a little bit expensive, but it's a great tool, especially if you're struggling with aviation English. And I, I take this and I go to the airports, I go to the big, uh, large airports and I listen on this so they can help me and I can help my students now to learn different phraseology. The cool thing about hanging out with people or hanging out with your instructor when you're actually listening to this, you can come up with questions. My suggestion to you on this, if you're going to use the radio, if you're going to buy one, same thing with liveatc.net. If there's a question, you have any question, write it down and say you heard this. And the neat thing about liveatc.net, you can go back and replay it to your instructor. So you can have an instructional session just in air traffic control that's very efficient and you'll get a lot done. So I really highly recommend doing that. The other thing I, I really recommend is read books. Read books about air traffic control. There's a really good one out there. We have a link in the show notes. Uh, say again, please. It's, uh, it's on Amazon. I think it's an ebook also. Uh, there's a lot of other vendors that have it. If you use the link below, of course, it helps us produce this podcast. But it's a really good book. Uh, it's been out for a while. Again, there's there so many things that you can read and understand. There's another book too, by the way, that's free and it's from the FAA. And it's the Pilot Controller Glossary. You can actually find that too in, in the AIM. So hopefully you have your FARs and your AIM, you know, and that's gonna be in the back there. But you can also look up the Pilot Controller Glossary online, download it as a PDF, it's free. Uh, and also, obviously, if you do have an AIM, a FAR AIM, it's gonna be in there. The cool thing about some of these uh, online uh, things like we do with the Scholarships Guide and the FAR AIM and all these online books is the fact that they're updated really, really often. A uh, real terrific tool is reading about it, and you can also read about something and then give it to your instructor. Uh, the online flight simulators are really good too. So books are wonderful. There's lots of other books out there, by the way. I haven't listed them all, uh, but if you go into Amazon, that type of thing, you're gonna find those types of books out there. But those are the big ones that I, I recommend. Um, online flight simulators. Uh, there's one called VATSIM that's really cool. Uh, does you know some interaction with air traffic control, and these people are, are pros. Some are pros, some have, uh, have a very professional attitude and are trained to be good air traffic controllers using VATSIM. Again, we'll have links in the, in the notes below. It's really a great resource. The, all these things are great resources. So with all those things, those five things I talked about, listening on live ATC, using the app-based simulators, purchasing a handheld radio like I do, reading books and using the online simulators. Uh, there's other ones like X-Plane that c connect. All these things are really important for you. And this is how you're gonna get over your fear, okay? This is how you're gonna get over your fear. Become an expert in it. I mean, that's the reason we call this, this channel Expert Aviator. That's why the YouTube channel is Expert Aviator. Try to become an expert in those things that you're the weakest in, and you will have become very strong in that field, whatever that may be. It might be talking to air traffic control. I highly recommend you going out there and you become an expert in that field. It's gonna boost your confidence. It's gonna boost your confidence and many other things that you do out there with aviation. I recommend going down to the show notes, clicking on those things I talked about. If you have any questions, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell so you get notified. But one thing I really want you to do is, this is a daunting task, learning aviation English. But I want you to do this for me. Don't take it on all at once. The most important thing you can do is just do one, one thing at a time. Take one step just to learn one phrase. Don't try to overdo it. Take one step today towards your learning more about aviation English. And you know, soon you too are gonna to be an expert on aviation English. I hope you appreciate this. I can't wait to talk to you in the next episode. And for all those out there listening, I want you to do something today to move forward in your career. It could be something really simple. You can actually call a friend. You could actually buy a radio. Put down a reminder on your cell phone. Type notes on your computer. Look something up. Make up in your mind that you are gonna achieve your goal. But the most important thing you can do is take one step today to move forward in your career and your flying life. And by doing this, listening to these videos, you're doing that. Well, folks, safe flying. We'll talk to you next episode.